There are many different video game mysteries and many that need to be solved. Here I'm going to go through my top 10 scariest video game based creepypastas, myths, whatever you want to call it. Enjoy! Sonic.exe Sonic.exe is an application file that launches you into a very different game. It has a normal opening menu, but as soon as you hit the start, for a flash second, the sea of blue turns to a blood red, and Sonic's eyes are bloodshot. It also has a Sega 666 in the bottom left corner. As you play through the game, you don't even play as Sonic. You play as Tails, Knuckles, and Robotnik. Despite what you do, you are slain by the thing that is most surely not the same Sonic you've come to know and love. The worst part is, in the end, you finally think the nightmare is over. But then a terrifying picture shows up displaying the words, I am God. Despite of how scary this story is and how much it scarred me a couple years ago, it's fake as hell. So that's why it's number 10 and not number 5. Number 9, Kill Switch. Kill Switch was made in 1989 by the Carvina Corporation. It is a survival horror game. The objective was to find out how many miners are going missing and you soon discover bodies. The mysterious thing about this game is after you get to a certain part, it would delete itself completely. Therefore, you will never know how the game ended and what evil lurked in the mines. Ghosts of Halo Ghosts of Halo is an unexplained player or players that can randomly spawn in matches. Such ghosts tend to behave bizarrely and possess odd features, among other things. They do not carry gamer tags, do not show up on the scoreboard, and move erratically. They can be hostile if provoked, though some of them have been known to attack actual players for no reason. On some occasions they are also invulnerable and will not die. These disturbing and sometimes violent beings are on Halo 2 through Halo Reach. So the next time you play Halo, remember, they are waiting to be provoked. Tales Doll. The Tales Doll is something that is more of an urban legend than an actual creepypasta. It is rumored that the developer of Sega worshipped and prayed Satan. It was not acceptable for the Sega Enterprise, so he sealed a part of himself into a character being developed in the game. That development was the Tales Doll. It is also rumored that Sega made some kind of seal that could be broken if the ritual was done right. Is the Tails doll real? Try this if you want to find out. All you have to do is a tag match in Sonic R playing as the Tails doll. And you have to tag Supersonic last, and then that might break the seal. You might also need to play Can You Feel the Sunshine backwards to provoke it. But whatever you do, be aware of the consequences, and do it at your own risk. Ghost and Hitman. The following steps in this footage will give you a Ghost and Hitman.
What's going on, officer? There has been an accident, sir. Please move along. Nothing of interest here. Just a nasty accident. Some people say, after finding this easter egg, you get extremely depressed. Some say, the ghost will actually haunt you in real life. Do you dare try it? Luna Story Luna Story is a downloadable game I was only on a My Little Pony forum for one day before being taken down. It was said to be a fan-made My Little Pony game that after 30 seconds of playing would violently crash, displaying a horrific picture you see before you. The author of this game has gone his way to make more games like this. And yes, I might do a gameplay on it. Mario. Mario is a ROM hack that could still be found today. It has a very different and dark storyline to it, where Mario isn't the hero like he always is. But that's not even the weirdest part. There is also a text file that just bumbles nonsense. But if you convert it to a picture, you get something truly horrifying. Sonic CD. The footage I'm about to show you is completely real. And if you own Sonic CD, try it for yourself. There are many different sources on what this text says. The most common thing is that people think it says, Fun is Infinity, Sega Enterprises. But there are other people who say it says, Praise Satan, and the Dark Lord is coming. No matter what it says, it truly is a messed up tale. Polybius is an arcade game that was supposedly a part of a secret government experiment and caused players to hallucinate, have nightmares, and become suicidal. This game has a lot of different rumors behind it that I can't explain in one segment, but there is evidence that Yami Moto, the CEO of Nintendo, had something to do with the development of the game. 
Whether this is true or fake, you decide. And coming in at number one, the Goldshire children in World of Warcraft. The children of Goldshire, sometimes known as Creepy Children, Creepy Goldshire Children, or Demon Children of Goldshire, are a group of six human children that move in a group and appear at the end of Goldshire and Elven Forest, but never stray too far from their house and the road to the gates of Stormwind City. They may go up toward the road in Northshire Abbey, but never go past there. The river meets Mirror Lake. The children's names are Cameron, John, Jose, Lisa, Dana, and Aaron. In the northeastern part of Goldshire there is a house with skinning and leather walking trainers. On the second floor of the house is the room where the spooky music plays, and you can occasionally hear screams from different mobs in the game. And the worst part is, is these children go to this room at about 7.40 in the morning, Eastern Time, and form the symbol of a pentagram. Each day the pentagram points somewhere else. It'll be Stormwind City one day, it'll be Elwyn Forest the next. No one really knows the mystery behind these children. There has been rumors that it was actually an easter egg for Diablo 3. Whether it was an easter egg, truly paranormal, or just an ad for Diablo 3, I'll let you be the judge of that. <laughs> 